In this video, I provide some commentary on the details revealed to us in the recent Judgment Day broadcast and discuss some of the implications for the next title from Ryogago Toku. I'm Chill, and these are my highlights from May 7th's Judgment Day. The video started with a dramatic introduction from Toshihiro Nagoshi where he provided some details about the release of Judgment in 2018 and some of the events that led up to the development of the next game. After that, we were treated with a cinematic preview of what's to come in the series. In one combat scene, we saw Yagami getting attacked by a group wearing masks, possibly members of the same burglary gang we saw in Judgment. It'll be interesting to see how they end up getting drawn into the plot. We also saw the glowy ferris wheel and other landmarks indicative of Yokohama. So yes, it's confirmed Yagami is going to Yokohama. Potential Like a Dragon crossovers are in the air. In another combat scene, we see four characters about to enter the fray as a team. Toru Higashi, Jester, Yagami, and Kaito. The idea of all these characters about to enter battle together is really exciting, and you can already see Yakuza Twitter losing their minds. After another comment from Nagoshi, the actor behind Yagami, Takuya Kimura, made an appearance. I know, I always love seeing the real-life actors behind the portrayals in the game. After, Nagoshi revealed some more of the cast from the Japanese film industry, including Akira Nakao, and the new roles, Koji Yamamoto, Hiroshi Tamaki, and Kan Mitsueshi. After that, Kazuki Hosokawa took the stage to discuss the way that Yokohama is going to be added in full to the next Judgment game. They showed one clip of Igami riding a skateboard, which looks like it could be another spicy minigame. I wouldn't mind a little Yakuza-flavored Tony Hawk action. The area looks just like it did in Like a Dragon. As we've already seen, Ryogago Toku Studios are masters of reusing pre-established assets to create intriguing new games, so it makes sense, at least from a financial standpoint, that they would use Yokohama again. But I'm no less excited to go there. When they mentioned Yagami going to a high school, something about that felt slightly predictable, though no less entertaining. We already know how much Japanese media takes place in high schools, as it's thought of as a pivotal location for so many people's personal development. It'll be interesting to see what kind of mentorship Yagami will be providing to the students. Next, the director introduced a new fighting style called the Snake Style. They also said that they've made the tailing sections of the game more interesting with disguises and more ways to engage in investigations. This all sounded great. They revealed some new mini-games at the high school, including an interesting kind of remote-controlled robot game and a rhythm mini-game. It looks absolutely fantastic, and it looks like something you might get into playing repeatedly instead of advancing the story or doing anything else. So they said there will be a global launch for the game, which is also exciting. It feels like the Yakuza series is finally growing out of its niche status and becoming a mainstay in popular culture. The title will release on the 24th of September this year for PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One. The next segment was meant to appear as a world media conference where people from all different nationalities would ask scripted questions of the director and the producer. I like how Nagoshi always looks very serious in these segments. Also, this guy's from France, so of course he has an Eiffel Tower graphic behind him. Was just wondering where his beret, striped shirt, and baguette was. A lot of the answers only clarified the information we've already got before. At one point, a Chinese guy was talking about his fondness for Tian Yo Zhao and asked if we might see another character like him. Nagoshi said that another Chinese character was in the works, but couldn't give many details. Nagoshi also said later that Lost Judgment will have way more cutscenes than before. I just hope that they break the cutscenes up a bit, and it isn't whole half hour long sections that leave you just to sit and watch. If you were like me, you struggled a bit with cutscene fatigue after the extended introductions in Like a Dragon. So overall, everything we've seen about the game so far looks excellent. With the release of new media online, people also found some art that was not included in the reveal, such as these motorcycles with miniguns, or a section where apparently Yagami walks a dog. Looks like we're going to be in for a big treat come September. And that's all I have to share for now. If you love Yakuza and are interested in unique content, including news stories from Japan and the gaming world, this channel was made for you. I try to release one video per week and stream the games daily, so please drop a like and or sub if inclined, and I'll see you later in Camarocho.